guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl zuchilicious and i am back again with another mad water recipe in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make the test yes softest bread rolls ever so if you want to know how this was made keep watching one important step i take each time i want to bake a bread is proving my yeast first Proving a yeast proves that your yeast is alive and active and to achieve that whip together warm milk or water, sugar and the amount of yeast you tend to use for your bread. Cover with a clean napkin and allow to rest for 5 to 10 minutes. You will notice a creamy foam forming on top of the milk which means your yeast is alive and you are good to go. In a separate bowl pour in your flour. Some salt. And mix to combine thoroughly make a well in the center of the dry ingredient and transfer the wet ingredients add your egg alongside butter gently combine the ingredients together Make sure the flour absorbs the liquid completely. After you're done combining, it is time to knead the dough. Kneading a dough is very important. You know why? It gives the dough perfect structure and help the yeast to distribute evenly. Knead the dough for 10 to 15 minutes or until it is completely soft and stretchy. You may be wondering who owns the other hand right there. <laughs> That's my friend Eniola. She came to visit me and uh, she saw the way I was struggling with this and decided to help. I couldn't resist. She's a good friend. So she helped me work on this dough perfectly. For the full list of ingredients I used for this bread, kindly check the description box below, okay? As you can see, it's all coming together now. The dough is already soft and stretchy exactly what i was talking about <laughs> now mold into a bowl and return it into the bowl rub little oil on the surface of the dough this will help the dough rise faster with a napkin keep in a warm place and allow to rise for at least 45 minutes knock it down to release excess air and knead again for 5 to 10 minutes This person that love big bread rolls I cut mine into 10 equal parts but if you want yours to be smaller cut as many pieces as you want okay try as much as possible to make the cuttings equal but don't stress too much over it okay <music> Grab 
the dough and form into a round shape. Achieving that shape is quite simple though. All you need to do is to flatten the dough first and then fold in all sides gently to form a round shape. And here you go. Repeat same method with the other dough until you have completely exhausted them. Place the rolled dough in a prepared pan Cover for 30 minutes to prove again the second time. After 30 minutes, the rolled dough should have doubled in size. Gently egg wash the dough. And top with sesame seeds. You can use whatever toppings of choice, okay? Afterwards, place in 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven and bake for 30 minutes. And your bread is ready. After baking, coat the bread rolls with melted butter to give it a beautiful glossy look. And that is all guys, your bread rolls is ready to be devoured. Remember, you can eat this with butter, peanut butter, milk, whatever thing you like. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.